GMGM. Leave that within the video, Crypto Insight UK. Um, first off, I just want to say thanks, guys, for 26,000 followers. It's insane to me that this many people like follow and love my work. I know I put a lot of time in. Um, so I do really appreciate it, but it does still blow me away a little bit that I get this much support. And I just want to say appreciate it, guys. Today, uh, I just want to talk about some price action in different cryptos. Uh, we will talk, we may as well talk about Cardano first while we're there. Not, not going to waste anyone's time. We're going to get straight into what we're talking about here. This is trading different. It's uh, like a liquidity protocol that I use. It shows where liquidity pools are. So like these areas are areas of high liquidity, basically where people who are long the market will get stopped out here and people who are short the market get stopped out here. Cardano is super interesting because we're actually at a key support level. So the impulsive move for Cardano started from this level here. We just went below that. So taking um, any long orders that were just below that recently. Um, obviously, it was acted as previous resistance. Um, you could argue this is like Wyckoff comes down, springs out, um, sign of strength phase, bounces off breaks out we called this break i'm going to show you that in a second i can show you why the structure is very similar to, to that of solana but we can we've come down we've back tested this uh previous support level our previous resistance now a support i was zooming a little it does lag a little bit sometimes but that's as much my pc as it is the software so we took this major area of liquidity here there is still a little bit below but what you normally see is as you take one area of, of liquidity like one pops up just below just below just below as some people always try and get long we took the extra liquidity below the wick that we created back in april where we took a lot of liquidity there last little flush out i think touching the top of this support level interestingly reclaimed that support level that i've just talked about there which is this area here reclaim that now at the same time creating a bullish divergence um, with the rsi which is basically with the rsi showing a higher low on the second test into the oversold area which is doubly bullish um and whilst price action is creating a uh, lower low so let's see what happens here with cardano but i think that's a super interesting thing to look at and as i was just saying like i did call this for cardano even the exact top uh, because the structure is similar to solana if we look at this structure here for solana it was almost like an inverted head and shoulders like inverted head and shoulders on the slant the same sort of thing was looking like that for cardano and i could show you it here it's probably easier if i just get rid of oh no that's the wrong way if i mainly get rid of the liquidity I'll quickly just show you what i was seeing just like that look somewhere around there um shoulder head shoulder breakout off we go um but yeah that's what i was looking at the target i gave look was about 80 cent we actually topped out at 81 cent so not a bad call if i don't say so myself there um brilliant <laughs> i can't say much more than that we're going to look at now a little bit of bitcoin because something i've just been talking about um over there on the old x or twitter is that i think we're about to head up to our liquidity areas up here don't know what the narrative is going to be as i said like there can always be liquidity down here like i was actually look if you look here um i don't know if this is going to work so I keep zooming and zooming out too much my computer trying to keep up if you look how liquidity levels can get left so if we look at 34k there's a lot of liquidity here this is liquidity is left that's where people um have closed their longs out after the price has started to move up they're like okay cool i'll take some profit so these liquidity areas could get left or we could start to move into a more bearish part of the market i i don't know i personally believe that we're about to send up through this liquidity here so i'm just looking at the shorter time frame liquidity and i'm looking for us to head into this area here um 77k and beyond really i don't know what the catalyst is going to be to do that because we've just chopped in this range for months when let's say we started the range here we've been in this range for 108 days feels like flipping forever even i feel it like it's boring it's depressing i'm chopping away my bags trading crappy meme coins it's it's a hard time like it's a hard time especially when you're full-time in crypto um 
I am trying to start, oh, I'm starting to work on a different project at the minute. Oh, a few, I've got an advisory roles coming up, but I'm also starting my own project. But it's only in the background, like I'm just writing the white paper for it. I think it's going to be something different. It's not a meme coin or anything like that. It's just, it's actually something to do with gaming. Because obviously I'm interested in gaming, if you guys know me. I'll, I'll stop talking about that now because it's not anywhere near anything I can talk about. It's just an idea, basically. But I think we're going to head up into this liquidity area here. 77k plus take this once you get up there things start to happen really quickly i think the move is going to be similar to something like this when we're in this area here i was like oh, at some point we're going to head up here obviously the range wasn't so long but with the range being longer i think the explosion will probably be higher maybe you can compare it more to an area like this you break out into that area you stop and then you absolutely cruise through again so you might break out into that area stop around here and cruise that's the sort of thing i'd be looking for I don't know what's going to catalyze that move, as I said, but I do think that move is imminent. These last few days have felt awful. Alts have been bleeding. Realistically, what have we done with price? It's not been that bad. It's 10% moved down over, what, like two weeks. It just, It's just been a slow bleed out. Um, as soon as we start to break through this level, we could start to see something more aggressive. Uh, the RSI, let's get that in there, see what that's saying. I was just talking about this over on X. This is the daily RSI pretty low like almost as low as it was at the bottom but not quite i think we're about ready to reverse you do normally look for some negative news to mark a bottom we haven't actually had that yet since i talk about but i talked about this uh four hour sign normally being a decent indicator that we're about to move off and again this is bullish divergence here as we are creating lower lows on the price action but we are creating at higher lows on the oscillator which is the rsi so it's coming guys hold on tight like don't get shaken out in these periods this is where you should be nibbling in my opinion liquidity is massive above us equities look decent cpi and ppi shocked to the downside job reports are coming in bad which is what a lot of uh, economists are talking about might be the thing that twists the hand of the fed into election season I just think we need like some sort of catalyst, whatever that might be. I have keep looking and keep saying about a potential sovereign fund coming through and saying that they're holding Bitcoin, a big one. I don't know who it might be or what that might be, but they're my thoughts. Um, and as Raul Powell said yesterday, and one thing I've reiterated before Raul Powell was talking about it in this last video, I think people are going to be surprised to the upside this cycle. I keep saying that. I've said it a lot of times. If you watch my live streams, if you follow me quite closely, you'll know I've said that a lot of times. I think that's the risk. I think people were scared to say it because of last cycle and how like I don't think we had that extra move to the upside that normally we get a blow off top and so people are being conservative with their price predictions but I've been saying 250k Bitcoin it's what it's what I believe between 220 and 250 and whatever that means for alts but it's going to be blooming good that's my thought process that's how I'm setting myself up I can definitely be wrong guys I've been wrong before um, normally directionally, directionally right, time-wise not so right. So take that with a pinch of salt. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the chat. I hope today was quite helpful. There wasn't really any news or not so much news between yesterday and today. So I just thought I'd update you on my thought process uh, as to price action. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll speak to you on the next one. Peace up, A-Town down, as I should say.